Hi again, YouTube land. Sorry, I started recording this and apparently I became suddenly popular on internet chat on Facebook, so I wasn't able to really focus and concentrate, which kind of sucked major. So, let's try this again. What's been going on recently? I uploaded a couple of short videos of Triple being ridiculously cute. Uh, prior to that was my hundredth posting, I believe. I still haven't heard from that person. I thought it was whether or not it was them, and I'm guessing it's because it was them, and they're too chicken shit to admit it. Uh, what else? I don't know if you can tell from looking at it, but I just came from getting my hair done, dude. And that's only worth noting because while I'm trying to allow my hair to grow out for a particular reason, I am not necessarily fond of it being incredibly long. Um, so I'm getting it trimmed, but the major reason I had to go get it done professionally is that my hair has officially gotten long enough that I can no longer dye it at home, which kind of sucks, but is kind of okay. Um, so I don't know. I mean, it was more expensive to be sure, but you know, what else are you going to do? Especially if you really intend on keeping up the hair dye. Um, but, you know, it, it is what it is. So, the big thing that happened recently, let's see, is um, Sam and I went to a food truck rally yesterday. He'd been trying for a couple of weeks to get friends together and go on a beach trip. And he could not quite manage to get all of the ducks to quack together in a row which sucks because he absolutely loves going to the beach, but I also kind of understand it in the sense that people have, you know, lives and work and family and whatever, um, but Saturday morning was really just kind of the end note because, oh, glasses, sorry, because um, it started raining as well Saturday morning, which is the day they were supposed to go, so it kind of just became, fuck it. And Plan B was the food rally. Now, the only problem I had with the food rally was that the lines were bedlam. Okay? The nature of food trucks, I understand. But generally speaking in the city, you find a truck not within any really near space to another truck. So the odds are you're going to have a pretty easy time deciding, oh, well, that must be the line to the truck. When you have a food truck rally and there's about a dozen of them all grouped in the same corner area of this park at a place called Grand Army Plaza, it's not so easy to tell where the lines are. And I would really love it if the next time I went, and I already sent them a tweet message, the Food Truck Association, and they did answer, um, saying, you know, I loved it, it was awesome, we both had a great time, my husband and I, but honestly, trying to figure out which line went to what truck was insanity. So, that was my only issue. But as far as what we got, I got something called a Kelvin Slush, which is, it's basically a straight up slushy truck, except they don't have as much, I believe, they don't have as much sugar and additive ingredient. So I got a half iced tea, half citrus, and pomegranate flavor which is kind of a twist on the Arnold Palmer, which is one they were offering as a special that day. Um, but yeah, so that was pretty good. I love Kelvin Slush. And Sam and I agreed to go to another truck called Mike and Willie's, I think it was. And he got a fish taco, and I got a brisket slider. I don't usually eat brisket, but... I need to start developing tastes in certain kinds of things, especially since I'm doing a lot more cooking at home, which reminds me I need to defrost something for my dinner. And the brisket I had, it was a slider, you know, so it's, it's literally like this big, but that's perfect for me because my stomach is like this big. So it was slow marinated brisket in a honey barbecue sauce with 
you know those um onion crunchy things that you put on green bean casserole, French's onion things? With something like that, it might have been that, um, on the top between the meat and the bun. And it was pretty darn good. I mean, as an actual meal, I'd probably need to get two of them. But just for trying something new, it was really quite acceptable. Um, what else? Sam went to Big D's, which is another truck, and got a spicy pork grinder, I think it was. And that was pretty substantial, which was good because we'd been trying to go to a different truck on the list of ones he said he thought looked interesting from the website. And the line bedlam was creating a lot of problems. And then we finally figured out which line was for the Cuban truck. And the guy behind the counter was shouting out, we only have chicken and beef. And Sam had wanted something that was pork. So off to the Big D's truck we went. And he got his grinder. And the grinders, I think, were like 7 or $8. But that was worth it. Because it really was a grinder. It wasn't like slider size or, you know, half sandwich size. It was an actual grinder. So that was good. He enjoyed that. And then while he was eating the first half of that, I waited in the remarkably long line for Waffles and Dingus, which is another food truck, which is oh so good. Um, and I got, I have had the Belgian waffle before. There's two kinds. There's the crispy one and then there's like the soft doughier one. So it's Belgian, which is the crispy, or Liège, which is the softer one. I'd had Belgian before and it rocked. And I figured, well, you know, it's something new, it's a food rally, I'll try the Liège waffle. So I got the Liège waffle with Belgian fudge, chocolate sauce, and whipped cream. And since the first topping is free, it was only six bucks. And it was, I mean, it's a decent sized thing, it's not like a tiny thing, although they do offer minis for three and four dollars. I got that, and it was worth it, but it also taught me that I prefer their Belgian waffles. Uh, so that's good. And that line was remarkably long. Like, there, there were points where some of the lines were, you know, noticeably shorter or noticeably longer. There was a general insanity to the whole thing because a lot of people were trying a lot of stuff from a lot of trucks. But on the walk from the food rally, the truck rally, we were in Park Slope, which is where Sam is originally from. Unfortunately, we were in a completely different area so he couldn't show me stuff he wanted to show me, but we went to other things and walked around thrift store shopping and stuff uh, down Fifth Avenue uh, and Flatbush Avenue, which is fine. You know, we had a good time. But I was walking down Flatbush Avenue and I was finishing the waffle and a lady who was walking to the side of me, I could tell from the corner of my eye she was looking at what I was eating and I wasn't quite sure if it was because something was wrong or she was thinking, you know, wow, that looks good. So, you know, she politely said to me, wow, that looks really interesting. It looks really tasty, too. And I said, yeah, it's from Waffles and Dingus. And she went, what? I've never even heard of that. And I went, oh, I don't know if you know, but there's a food truck rally today over at Grand Army Plaza. And one of the trucks is called Waffles and Dingus. It's uh, Belgian. It means waffles and topping. And uh, it's really good. And I, I told her what it was. And, uh, you know, that I'm, I'm a big fan of theirs. It's one of the food trucks you'll find around the city. She went, wow, I never even heard of that. That looks remarkable. I went, it really is. <laughs> so I have tried to convert someone else to the waffle and dingus way. But uh, whatever. So we went thrift shopping, walking around, stopping in at interesting new places. And that was good. So Sam had a decent enough time having to spend a day with me. But the big thing for me this past week is I recently got... I think I mentioned the new pedometer. I mentioned it on Facebook for sure. I ordered it off Groupon because we got some Groupon gift certificates this past Christmas from my parents. And I went for a walk Tuesday, and when I came home, it was waiting in the mailbox, which is great because, you know, I'd only just walked for six hours. But I've been wearing it every day since, and I am doing steadily better because Wednesday I did about 7,000 steps, which I thought was remarkable because I'm generally so inert doing things at home that I don't really think I crack 3,000, but that was good. And the next day I managed about 8,500. Friday I actually hit 10,000, which from my understanding is the daily suggested minimum for healthy exercise. 
Saturday, I was doing stuff around here because Sam went into work for a little while. Then I went into the city to meet him for dinner at one of our, well, one of my favorite Thai places. I think he likes it too. A bit expensive though. Um, so that day I did about 11,000 steps. Well, yesterday was a food truck rally. By the time I got done at the end of the night, I had done 14,300 plus steps. Today was supposed to be a relaxing day, not really doing very much. But I happen to be in the neighborhood where the hair salon is that my husband and I prefer to go to, a place called No Lass in Woodside. And I walked in, and Wendy was at the desk, and I said, you know, is it possible you or Charlene or Sarah has time to do a cut and color for me? Well, lo and behold, they had time this afternoon. So I walked around Woodside for an hour killing time, then went to the Cuckoo's Nest for a very minuscule lunch. They're amazing. French onion soup and a half pint of beer. And then I went and I sat and I got my hair done, which took about an hour and a half, give or take. That's what it usually takes for most people. So then I headed home. And in the meantime, I was walking around during that one hour trip, you know, and they redid the Duane Reed, and they redid the Rite Aid, and they tried to make everything look all modern. And if you knew Woodside, you know that's just friggin' ridiculous. So, what else? I don't know. I am so tired. Like, I really honestly need to find a day, either tomorrow or Wednesday, to honest to God sit still and not do anything. Because my feet... <laughs> feel like they're going to run away from my body. <laughs> I laugh, but it really, it hurts. Like, I'm sitting down now. It doesn't hurt as bad. <laughs> if I try to get up and walk over to the couch, in the ten steps it takes me to get over there, my feet are going to yell at me. <laughs> so, I'm going to go relax in the air conditioning for a while, watch some Netflix, and try and figure out what we're doing this weekend because I thought we were doing one thing but now I'm not sure because I'm hearing things from people that's why my chat kept going off before so it's looking like another letdown weekend coming up well letdown in the sense that we won't be doing things that involve other people I mean Sam and I will still do stuff together we're one of the lucky married couples that enjoys what time we get to spend together even when we fight we don't like fighting we don't like arguing, we don't like disagreeing, but in the end, I think we agree, we still really like being able to spend the time together, because he works really hard. He's, you know, he puts in a 40-hour week, and I haven't been able to find work yet, but that's just going to make it even more like, oh my god, when we have time together, we are not letting anybody take it away from us. So, fingers crossed that the extra walking pays off. And uh, Tribble, who keeps trying to bring me her toy to play fetch with her, uh, will be happy to know that I'm almost done recording this, so I'm going to go relax with her. Hope everything's cool with you on YouTube land, and uh, I'll talk with you next time.